So, good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us today in our mini webinar about Good Living by Design. So, I'm Mike from Alam Sutra, uh, as aligned with our company visions uh, to actually be the best developer through innovations to improve the quality of life. So, and one of it is uh, through design. So, today we have two special guests. Uh, one is Ian Simpson from Broadway Marian. Hi, Ian. Hi, Michael. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm great. You're in Singapore right now, right? Yeah, we are in lockdown in Singapore for, I lose track actually. I lose track how long I've been locked down for. So I haven't been out to Jakarta for over six months now. So I'm looking forward to getting back there. Some of the public spaces is start to open in Singapore already. Yeah, they're getting there. They're getting there. And we had three months of pretty stringent lockdown. But the last three or four months, it's, uh, it's opening up carefully. Yeah. Uh, we're back into split working in the office. So we're in one week and then we, have, we split our team. So it's safe. So um, we've been doing home working and office working, which is OK, actually. It's good. I've seen a little bit more of my children, which is nice. Yeah, hope for the better. Yeah, and we have yeah. the other guest is Ibu Tri. Ibu Tri is also a guest lecturer in University of Indonesia. Hello Ibu Tri, apa kabar? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. Hi everybody. Yeah, so I think uh, the webinar, most of the webinar will be done in English. But probably I will translate some key points uh, in Bahasa. So I think we'll just start right on. Um, so Ian, good living by design. 60 years of experience uh, in Broadway Malians. I mean, the Broadway Malian already have. Yeah, I'm not 60. I've been there for 60 years in Broadway Malian. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not quite that old. But okay. it, feels like, it feels like it sometimes. I've worked, um, I've done a, a lot of residential. I've done 60 years worth of residential around the world. So, um, so share yeah. with us, Ian. So, how you actually can improve quality of life through design? Oh, yeah, I mean, it's a great, great question. It could be a big answer for this. I think in residential, uh, you probably used to talk efficiency a lot, really. And I feel now that kind of world's changing a little bit to more about efficiency and flexibility. So it's not only about spending, you know, the buyer gets a really good, efficient apartment. He can, he can change with how the lifestyle and i think that's one of the bigger change we're talking about these days how flexible because everybody's different so if you buy an apartment you know some people want a bedroom second bedroom for children others want to rent it others may want to have an office in there which is going to be super re relevant at the moment uh, here's one of our projects which i can see you put up this is a tower we uh, designed this quite a long time ago but um it's, it's actually on a very small piece of land. It's the tallest residential building uh, in Europe. I think it was. We might have been beaten down by somebody. But it, it, we got, we got uh, approval for this because of sustainability. You know, it's clever. We're, um, it's, uh, it's pumping water up from the aquifer under London, under London into the floor slabs, which keeps the temperature uh, warm in winter, cool in summer. It takes energy from wind turbine on the roof. Uh, and it's opposite the Houses of Parliament, so it's a great location, and it really thinks about views, views out, which, um, you know, usually, an um, uh, uh, interesting thing about design, people notice bad design more than good design sometimes. So if you have a block, block view, you hate it. And um, we really focus on, you know, things so people don't, you know, don't even think about it. Uh, unblocked views is, to me, I, I think, really important in residential design. So where is the project located, uh, Ian? Sorry, say that again, Michaels. Where is the uh, where is the project like this project? This is in uh, central London. We, we've done historically a lot of projects in um, key cities in London. Um, I, I, I designed a lot of the main projects. This is, uh, I would say, a, what I call a top end, to high value uh, okay. project. So mm -hmm. it might be slightly higher value than L of V. Um, but it's, I thought it was good because it shows um, uh, the, the importance of views. It's clever because we've got, you know, big apartments on key views and smaller apartments, which are not so good. 
and it changes, it goes up, you have a bigger apartments, higher up, smaller apartments, slower down. Okay, and how about this project? Um, Man, Island. Uh, Man Island, I love, I love Man Island project. Um, this is in Liverpool. Um, people say, you know, we'll know Liverpool for two things, the Beatles and Liverpool football team. Um, uh, we, this is mixed use actually, it's office and residential. The building on the left is office, the two buildings in the centre are, are residential. They're kind of like black icebergs next to the, um, the, te the um, Mersey and the docks. And we wanted them to contrast with the white stone buildings behind. So we wanted that kind of clear identity shift. And the actual di the triangles created by the angles um, create the views through to the historic building. So we kind of want to protect views. We use, you know, the views are really important. And we wanted to create a, a unique brand. So it's black polished granite. And the idea is like the water. <clears throat> you know, so the buildings that like, reflect, uh, you can see the image of the dock in front of it and the views through. So they're like uh, the black iceberg sailing through the city um, in Liverpool. Wow. So, but in particular to this project, how do you think like the design in, like influenced like the quality of life? Here, like creating a better place for people. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it, this is this um, is more public than Elevate here. And what we wanted to do, because it's so public, is create some semi-public spaces. That means kind of protected spaces. So here we've got these covered atriums. Uh, fortunately, we haven't got the climate of uh, Jakarta, so it, it's not only wet; it's cold, Liverpool. And so we created these protected spaces, which was the community hub. And so all the ground space is totally public because of its location. And then we've got these semi-public spaces which feed into the, um, to your apartment. So it's quite a kind of cool place to live. And the other thing which Broadway Marion do is we kind of think about the fifth plane, which is the roof and how we deal with roofscape. And if you see these are angled, we slide in like lots of um, terraces and penthouses. So we bring penthouses down to level three or four to create value and interest so I can be a, have a low level penthouse looking out. Oh, okay. That's, that's really great. And we have like Battersea Reach. Yeah, Battersea Reach. Uh, oh, yes. I, start, I started on that before I came to Asia to live. And that was about 15 years ago. And it's still not finished. <laughs> it's, been, it's, uh, <laughs> it's so slow, but it's a big scheme. And this is a, a great client, Bar uh, Barclay Homes, one of our uh, uh, favourite clients. And we've worked with them for a number of years. And this scheme has been built in phases. Again, you can see the step buildings going down to the Thames. So this is in London. This isn't probably as good as St George's Tower, the first one you saw. But it's still a good site. And what we did here, we opened up the riverside by rotating the buildings around 90 degrees, usually. And um, probably as you would in Asia, you'd turn the buildings to face the view. But here, because it was a very deep site, we rotated the buildings down. So we created a park on the River Thames. And that was, you know, we've won, we've won quite a few. We did the la landscape as well as the architecture. Um, Ed Baker, who's one of our directors, designed the uh, landscape on this. And his team has done the landscape on Elevate. So it's the same team. Uh, as the uh, Battersea Reach project, which was won a number of awards for the landscape. And um, it worked well because it um, creates a real community, those landscape gardens. And uh, communities really, you know, you talk about quality of design, it's the community you create. Um, uh, and that's the successful project, I think, when you've got a really nice, successful community. Okay. So, and we have a. Uh Al yeah, the client here uh, is um, Al Dar, and that's an Abu Dhabi uh, client. And uh, then you'll say, oh, this just looks like the other one here. Well, it does. They came to see us in London and said, we really like Battersea Reach. Can you do the same in um, uh, Abu Dhabi? And so we designed this and built this probably five years ago in Abu Dhabi. It was very focused on public space creating um, views out. So the fingers don't actually, they're not parallel here. They open up and they face out. And we also wanted to have it feel a 
slightly local Arabic feel. So the idea of the interlocking fingers created a slightly Islamic geometry, which you see in the mosques. And they become the balconies and they also shade the building. So it's a very simple device that makes it of its place, which is really important. So because every building needs to be of its location, um, it, it responds environmentally just by, you know, the balconies. Uh, and gives good unblocked views, which you know I'm a big fan of. Wow. Okay. Uh, one, it won the best project in the Middle East a few years ago as well, so we're really Ooh. proud about that. And that's you say, oh, that's just like everybody wins that, but that's against all the projects in Dubai as well. So it was a top-notch win for us to win as a residential project, but beating a lot of those kind of mega projects. And I think we won because it was the kind of quality of place. You know, the spaces you create between buildings, which we're a big fan of. In Broadway Marriott, um, we're not just architects, we're master planners, urban designers, landscape architects. Um, you know we've done the landscape at LFB. But it, it, those gaps between the spaces are the really important places. You know, it sounds odd, but more important than the buildings to create space, views, places where people meet. And that was something we really took on LFB, is that, you know, getting those community spaces getting them low low to the ground so we you, know, you see a lot of buildings in jakarta where you have gardens on the top of the car park we didn't really want that we wanted something which would connect to the park and the outdoor space a real good place to meet i'm, I'm talking about everything else at the moment this is Batt this is battersea beach still and this is the interiors and i'm not going to talk much about interiors because she is fantastic at interiors and she's going to but i'm going to say how important it's cannot wait to to speak about a project but i think <laughs> i'm listening i'm listening yeah yeah but it's i want to touch them a bit about you know you're talking about spaces right good living yeah. design and i think lv is very special and very lucky to have the master planner is also broadway malian right because you yeah uh, yeah we, we, we actually it's not we 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 are very lucky having Alan Sutra as a client, and I'm not joking. This, 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 this is one of our favorite projects. Without, you know, we've worked on projects all over the world. Well done. Uh, and uh, that's not me as a company. We've worked from South America to North America, uh, capital cities. But I think the LV site, or, it, it's very special. It, it's a very, very uh, unique site. Yes. Now, not just in Jakarta, because to me, I mean, how many sites do you have which have a park on both sides of you? True. True. You've got the Eucalyptus Park and the park we've created as part of our master plan. Yeah. If I could buy, if I could buy, which I can't, I'd buy. <laughs> you know, you, I'm, I'm a, you know, you, you could give me one. But to be honest, you know, um, it's it's a phenomenal site. So actually, it's very easy for us. You know, you've made life easy uh, because, you know, we don't need to, you know, we, we do work hard. But if you have a great side, you don't want to try too hard. You know, the key is actually less, less is more. Um, we have focused on, you know, great space, trying to create the spaces. And what I'd call is a palette in terms of the plans. So users can develop the flat, the apartments, in different types of ways in terms of flexibility um, and create simple timeless buildings you know, I don't think buyers want to spend money on crazy architecture you know with funny shaped tops and roofs and they, they want to buy beautiful timeless buildings which they get their money on, on the plan you know good simple plans and here the brief you gave us was big apartments should I say that was big apartments <laughs> um, and th that's a nice, I think that's a great brief because the, you, you, you see a lot of shoebox apartments, can I have shoebox apartments, really small apartments around. And how, I think you want to be, uh, you know, have a home which adapts with you over time. It gives you that opportunity to adapt. Um, um, and so pe people's needs change. And what you don't want to do is have to move in one year or two's time, but buy into a community. And I think the brief for Alan Super Games here was perfect. You know, we've got a beautiful park. We're creating big units, which we've designed. You know, I'm a residential nerd. 
which means you know, I'd design, I'd spend all night with people now at work, you know, weeks designing a two bed apartment to get it right, and but keep it simple. And so when 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 I talk about simple, you know, you, we've got, you know, what what we did is really. Yeah, I, mean, I should be talking about Battersea Ridge, Michael. I'm just going off on one here. I'm <laughs> no, no. <laughs> right. and, uh, and, um, and, uh, and, you know, the, the, the beauty of having back to two parks as a unique place is phenomenal. And we actually, ju you know, just push the buildings to the edge of the site with big windows so you can see trees and you've got good natural ventilation. And uh, um, so... I, I better let, yeah, here's some images, you know, um, we, we felt that the building should be kind of timeless and simple to build, which meant the value create, is, gets, the buyers get a competitive price with that because the money is spent on where it needs to be on that's good amenities. And um, we brought in, we, you see all the shop houses there, we designed the shop houses as part of this development. And I think that's really important because this sort of thing sometimes get forgotten about. And, it, you know, a mixed-use development, is, it's an amenity for people who live there. And so if I've got a coffee shop outside of my condo, it, it's somewhere to go, it's somewhere to work, it's somewhere to meet friends. And so we designed the, um, the shop houses as part of the brief, your brief to us. But it creates a vibrant place to live. And all of those, I think, you know, something I've learned from some of my you know, I mentioned Ed, my fellow director, who, did, who um, his team led the landscape on this. You know, he's taught me about what's important is ground one, two, and three. You know, those lower floors of the development. It's what people see to create activity, to create views out onto gardens. And uh, that's what is so important. So we've spent a lot of time um, creating a beautiful landscape and a, a, big, a big landscape. Or, you know, we really work hard and uh, all the bits of this scheme so we've got the communal decks where we've got spaces to break out within your own building we've got all the landscape of ground floor you've got two <laughs> i can't believe it. and you've got the park next to you and um, we've put all the amenities together with the you know the swimming big swimming pools uh, i think it's 60 i can't remember 60 meters or something it's over an olympic sized pool in yes. the center of this and, and this pool, Ian, the sky pool. <laughs> yeah, and, and we put a pool on the top because I think you need different places. Yes. You need different places. You can't say so you've got different places to go, different places to entertain, meet your friends. Mm. And, you know, and, and that's what we try and do, uh, you know, to create. So when you may ask me spaces, this is what life's about, you know, these places. And so we work really hard on these spaces in terms of. Uh, uh, creating a beautiful landscape, but useful, you know, useful. So that means I can work, I can play, I can uh, have a break, read a book. Um, and we've got um, hectares of landscape here, uh, which is a really very rare. So when I said it's my favourite job, you've given us a really nice palette to work with on this job, on this job which has been luxurious in area. You know, you've created, you've given us a good, um, I'll tell you one thing, I'm not selling, pushing you too hard, but most clients will say to us, we want you to put as much development on the site as possible. And it's one of the rare times a client has come to us and said, Ian, you don't need to maximise the gross area on this project. You don't need to maximise the GFA. We want you to create a really amazing development. And... So you made it easy to, for us, really. Don't say you want your fees back, or you know, I have to pay you. <laughs> but, um, so yeah. we're, 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 we're very happy, you know, we're very proud of this project. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we, 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 uh, that's why I was very happy you asked me to come on tonight, because it's been a very successful teamwork from starting the initial master plan, and when I'm talking, you know, we're talking about LRV today, but this is part of a wider master plan um, around the Central Park. So you're not only actually, you know, the aspiration of living on the Central Park, you can potentially work there. You know, there's going to be offices, retail shops around the Central Park. And one of the things I'm, you, know, you can tell I like talking, one of the things I did mention to you, you know, one of my initial visions for our master plan in the was Central Park in New York. 
And we talked about, you know, wouldn't it be nice to live, you know, to live in New York, look over Central Park and have that vibe. And that was always something in our mind that, you know, at NLV, we want to be able to look across a park um, and live there. And, uh, you know, and if you see those amazing condos, which cost 50 million each in New York, obviously you can't do that. But you can at NLV in Alam Sutra. And, and that was our, you know, that was our great, you know, desire to do something. I, um, you know, I, I don't know anything else like it in Jakarta. You know, and I love Jakarta as a city, and we've done, um, we've worked for some of your competitors, you know, we worked for some great clients like Inti Band in Jakarta, or where we're doing Promenade 57, and that's one of our designs which is on site at the moment. So we have, we do, we have done another project, but this one's the Corker. You know, I don't know if you understand my English in there, but it, this is a, a really good uh, site. Very British. Very British, yeah. Uh, can't help that. <laughs> But, it's but okay. because it, all right, I'm going to stop it. I, I'm doing too much talking. You know, it's, really, come on. it's nice to hear, you know, from the architect because, to be honest, uh, for me, who's doing the design, I mean, the interior design, it was a blessing that it was, you know, you who done it. And um, the space was, you know, wow, because I didn't need to do anything about it, actually. <laughs> yeah. So, because, right. I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, Someone what you've that. done, what, what you've done, I and mean, the imagery which Michael showed, you've really set out a nice, um, you know, you know, a set of ideas of what may this because we've actually given a very simple palette. You okay. Know, but you, but you've given all the, um, the palette. <laughs> you put all you put all the craziness, which is what people want. They want but the simple honest, palette and then make it their home. Yeah. But to be honest, I was inspired by your concept, the architect concept. It's actually bringing the forest into the homes. So yeah. that became our inspiration, Ian. Did you know that? I, I, don't, I, don't, I just yeah, feel I, 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 yeah, I, I, didn't, I just thought I want to live here. If I live there, I want to live in a forest. I want to look out the window. I want to yeah. see the trees. Yeah. And uh, uh, and that's it, really. So I'm glad. I'm glad it got through. Yeah, yeah it got me. <laughs> well, yeah. actually, um, the thing is, uh, yes, uh, your concept inspired uh, the interior that we did for uh, Alam Sutra for LOV, and this one is actually for the two bedroom, and it was inspired by the forest. And it's actually the concept was the colors of tropical forest, Ian. So, I, mean, if you, I mean, what yeah. I like about this, not, I mean, yeah. I'm not saying I don't love the colours, I do, but it, it looks Crazy big, colors, it? it's big, it's big, <laughs> you know, if you go around share apartments and it, 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 you can really see space, yes. and that's why, I, these apartments are really big, Yeah. Um, which is what's, um, you know, it's not, you know, I'm going to say another thing, which I'm probably putting at ears, but actually I was asked about, is this a luxury part? Is this a luxury development? And um, you know, you have high end and mid end, but I, I wouldn't call this luxury price at all. I think it's really cost cost. Of, you know, you get value for money. Uh, but the project is luxury. If you look at your images now, it's like wow, th this does feel like a real luxury development. Um, just look at affordable. the space. Affordable. Yeah. Affordable no, that, project. Yeah, I mean, that's what, I, yeah, that's the word I was looking for, Michael. But okay. Because it isn't a really, it is an affordable project. But it yes. does feel like luxury, so it causes confusion. And that's, that's what we, that confusion I love, because that's what we're trying to do, is create the luxury at an affordable price. Yeah. Um, and, and so people are really getting and they are getting a luxury product. They're absolutely, on, the, on LV, anywhere in Jakarta, you know, you can look at, you know, some very expensive projects which haven't got what, got, what LV's got. Yeah. They haven't got the facilities, they haven't yeah. got the space, they don't live next to a park. It, it's crazy. You're crazy, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> you're the crazy one. What you're doing here as a company is going to disrupt the market. 
Yeah, I, I remember the first time I met you and every time I give you a brief, okay, Ian, I want this. I'm like, are you sure, Michael? This is like a very luxurious <laughs> brief, you know? It will be like very expensive condo in Singapore. But yeah, yeah, I think yeah, it, uh, Absolutely. It, yeah, yeah. I, think, I think the other developers are going to go, oh my God. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, oh my god! What what do we do to compete with these guys? Yeah, well, we set the standard very high in LOV. I think uh, was Ian uh, saying about entry was saying about our project is like you know we put a lot of effort. We have forty facilities here. Then you see the interior. You know the height. The even like the ceiling height yeah. is it's like nice. Right? I, think, yeah, I think I will just get back to three and then you know. You can continue with the, the concept for the three bedrooms uh, concept interior. For, for this one, again, Ian, I was inspired by your concept. <laughs> As you can see, yeah. it's actually, uh, it's more, um, the concept is more um, playful treehouse, Ian. So it's yeah. like the outside into the inside, something like that. And it, was, um, it looks fantastic what you've done here on this interior. Love it. I love the mix of modern and traditional. Yeah. And it gives a real homely, you know, some of the uh, show flats uh, I see are very cold yeah. and you don't, you have no personality, you know, you look at this and I want to live there, you know, this feels really nice. <laughs> yeah, you give like a sort of a spatial experience, that's what uh, we try to do and also, um, again, I agree with you that Alam Sutra uh, gave me the chance to, you know, three, just be crazy in a way that only LV has this, you know, kind of interiors. So it opened yeah. up my ideas to be unique, and also um, your concept made it easier for me as well. So thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, I, I look at this image, I can see the space on the right, the vision down, um, maybe it goes to the master bedroom, the open plan kitchen. It's a very nice, it's a very, you know, good. I don't know who was the architect, but the interior the is great. Is it's, great. <laughs> it's great. It's great. It's a slightly unusual layout. This one, I think we turned the kitchen around on oh. this unit, which yeah. is slightly different, which gives a, a different perspective. So uh, yeah, I like I like this unit. I like how you've dealt, dealt with the interior. Yeah, it's the uh, the open plan really helps the interior, and I think for a good living, it helps also because yeah. some you know. Um, apartments that I also uh, did in the past we had to kind of demolish some of the build uh, some of the walls because yeah. it just didn't give a, a nice uh, circulation and you know for the movement and everything so for this to be honest I didn't do any demolition <laughs> yeah well we so worked we worked a, with a really yeah, hard yeah it's the a plans. perfect layout <laughs> yeah we were we were as I said, I'm a residential nerd. We work really hard, but we work That's hard right. with uh, Michael's, Michael's team as well because they've got a good, I'd say, the good local experience, what people want. Yeah. And we gave it the international, you know, bringing some of our London ideas and some of our international, you know. I've been in Singapore too long, so, but I've learned a few lessons from Singapore designs, which are good. There's some really good condos here yeah. as well. So, uh, we put it so. All right. Yeah, well, let's see some more interiors. I'm, I'm liking these shots. Well, <laughs> well, for this one, is obviously that it was inspired not only from you. Uh, it was also for, because of the tropical living. So we thought that we give a bohemian touch and everything. So I think, I think for interior design, um, it depends. You know, uh, if clients or uh, can give you palettes or can give you freedom, I think you can do anything about it. So it's more about concept, I think. So if they give you the give you give the, the freedom to choose and to you know do the concept well, I think it's gonna execute well as well. So I hope uh, people who who sees and experience the interior loves what they see and what they experience. So it's very um, for me um, to see the mixes. It's it's very nice. So. Yeah, and I like the mix, the mix you use. I like the, uh, I like just like the little touches, like the kind of the oriental carpet with the colour <laughs> punching out, which gives a nice, nice mix to uh, character to places. Really, yeah. and it's important character. Again, I say we we create this simple 
palette for yeah. people to make their home and then they can really bring them to life. Yeah. But I mean, not all the projects are coming at crazy colors, Ian. So <laughs> it depends. I'm, I'm, like, yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't say crazy colors. I said they just, no, did I say oh, crazy I, colors? I, I don't think I did. Um, daring colors, like daring, yeah. you know, confident colors. I mean, this so, is your sophisticated look here, I can see. This, this, <laughs> this is slightly different. So it's, yeah. So in interior, I think. Um, what I see for a good design is not only about the space, but also how can you utilize the spaces, uh, the, like the potential space. So, you yeah. know, these kind of palettes I also do um, for, for designing, but, but if the client wants something unique and daring, you know, that's what you see in LV. <laughs> yeah. I, I, think, I think what we're seeing is that the bigger spaces are giving good opportunities. Yeah. And um, uh, for doing the, doing the, doing it for letting the owners, you know, get, what you're doing is giving them a, a glimpse, aren't you, of the, maybe what you can do. Yeah. And you can do it in different ways. Um, the flexibility, which I think you picked on and I did actually, because people have different wants and, you know, work. And then, you know, I think there's been a, a history of cookie cut, cookie cut and developer kind of theory that every, everybody's the same. Yeah. And you know, sets out the apartment, but everybody's different, and yeah. that's the key that you need to show that these apartments can have a variety of lifestyles. You know, from single parents to multi generational families to people working at home, and, and that's why we see you know, uh, at the but, moment. But, yeah, but as you can see, I mean, for me, for the other projects, uh, the most of the clients give me guidelines. They want, you know, uh, industrial, they want Zen, they want, you know, yeah. they, but in Alam Sutra and LV3, do, you know, the unique one. So that is something that you can tell the difference. I mean, that uh, for the LV, I put my heart into it uh, to give more colors and to give more texture. But for other projects also, I give my heart for it. But uh, the brief was very tight, so there was not a lot of uh, freedom to to be um, how do you say it? to be more imaginative in a way that you know you have this idea, great idea, but there's uh, some borders that you have to just stick to it. Yeah. I, I tell you, one of the things I want to do is get to the show gallery. Okay. I haven't been because I'm locked down in Singapore, and I can't wait to actually go. And have a look at these apartments. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, that's on my bucket list at the moment. LV Show Gallery. Yeah, yeah we will we'll be waiting for you in the show unit again. Yeah, I, I can't wait. I can't yeah. wait to see them. I see. I see all the interiors and the images, and we've worked so hard on the design, and yeah. then being locked down at this point in time is a little bit frustrating because we yeah. want to get over there and see it all. So back to. So back to the LOV again, I think it's a very uh, interesting conversation now that we talk about like how the master plan is always by Broadway Marion and then the landscape is by Broadway Marion and like the architecture and especially LOV is sort of like the centerpiece of, of it all because Ian was talking about, you know, it was actually in between two parts, like the existing Eucalyptus part and then the actual part that designed by Broadway Marion. So I think... LOV is very special in, in the sense like in terms of design is like, you know, it's not just your wall. It's not just the spatial wall that, you know, the, the amazing uh, interior by Ibu 3, but also a set of like multiple boundaries. Okay, you were talking about your project in London, how it's more public than LOV. But in LOV, I think you have like this chance of, you know, your, your private apartment and then you go down to the swimming pool, which is a smart public and then you go to the public spaces. I think it's kind of like, you know, a home beyond the wall. Like, you know, your home is not just your unit, but it's a series of trajectory space around you. Yeah. What do you think? I told you I want to buy an apartment. <laughs> 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 because I, 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 I think we've, you know, arrogantly or luck, we've done a good job here. We've done a good job. And... I, I like the idea of the multiple levels of space of private and secure. 
because security isn't, you know, you can say about public, but security is important in Jakarta. Uh, but I, I like that you've got, we've got a public side as well. So we've got, a, we've got shops, so I've got restaurants and cafes, and I've got a public park as well, so I can go jogging or take my kids out. And I can walk, you know, I can walk to the shops when the, um, um, uh, across the road where you've got all the shopping complex, shopping centre, which is an amenity. And it, yes, you might have to drive a little bit, but IKEA is close. You know, you've yeah, got a yeah. lot. You, 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 from LV, yeah, it's really yeah. So, it, I, and um, we worked on those spaces hard, and we're happy. And then above there, you know, you've got pretty much um, most apartments. You know, Michael, like unblocked views. You know, and you have it city views, or but both look onto a park on both sides. The bigger ones are cross ventilated. You know, they tick they tick a lot of boxes to, for for the design. I feel, and I think that you know the, 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 that big idea of living between the eucalyptus park and the new park you know, is quite unique, and the amenities are big, so. I think I think we've done a good nine nine out of ten in this job. Really. Bravo! <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I'm I'm looking forward to you know coming over as I've said, and yeah. uh, have a looking. I want to see the show apartments now, um, and uh, have a look at the inter the fantastic <laughs> interiors. So you you were. I, I, I'm just overwhelmed today because you know you did a lot of. Uh, I mean, you really appreciate this this uh, this project. I mean, we started like a year ago, I think, beginning of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we worked. Yeah, we, it was more than probably than a year ago. We worked really hard. As I said, the, the master plan came first, and I think <laughs> that's the key. Minnie, you know, Monique in our office, she worked led the master planning team, and um, well, you know, we drove that through. Central Park. Let's get because this is you know as I know this. There's other phases to the master plan which will come along. There's uh, on the other side of the park. There's some retail and there's some I think the hotel and some offices. Um, but all look onto the park, and so all of the all the, the all, this development and the ones on the other side will have the park at the centre. Um, so I think that that's been good and. And then we came on afterwards, the architects, and then after then, you know, the landscape. So there was kind of a Broadway Mallee and rhythm through those three areas, which gave a kind of quite an integrated design. I think you can tell there's one hand on the design which links those together. Um, and so we, yeah, it's been a good experience for us. And I, I'm not, I have no reason to say what I'm saying, you know. You're not paying me for this. I honestly believe it's a, we've done a really, really good job at Adam Sutra. Um, Thank you so which, much. Which, um, which, which, you know, I, I always try and do, you know, I don't try and do 10 projects, 10 good projects a year. I try and do one. And this is my one. Yes. Wow. You know, uh, and, uh, <laughs> and so when I look back on life, if, I, if I've done 20 good projects, Really, which have made a difference. I'll be happy. That's how I feel, and I think this is my one. Wow! I yeah. I hope I hope I did justice to to that via interior, uh, Ian. <laughs> well, the, it looks it looks great. It looks great. It really does, and that's why. But I, I want to see it in 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 the in flesh. Person. Yeah. In so flesh. I, I, yeah. So I, I can see the images, and they look amazing. Um, I'm really, really excited. So we've got to work together again, haven't we, on something else, I think. Yes, that would uh, be great and wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so we'll, we'll, well, we'll, we'll think, connect after this. Yeah, but I think, I mean, interior and architecture is always uh, needs to be in line. That's what I think. I mean, a good design is that when you have a concept for architecture, it should be uh, brought to you into the interior as well. Because I think it, it, it becomes like a unity of uh, uh, a nice, uh, not only experience, but also how to live. Because, I mean, yeah. with, your, yeah, with, your, with your layout, I mean, it's already uh, great. 
which at the end I mean, uh, for me yeah for me it's uh easier to uh utilize that you know to maximize uh, uh, yeah, i think you said some interesting points there i think there is a kind of synergy between the interiors and the architecture because uh doing why i like doing residential is where people live and there's something different about a, a building where people live to necessarily go there for a function and then yeah. go away and it, it affects people's lives and it creates um now, when you live somewhere, you have memories of a place, you know, of a family growing up. Yeah. Uh, and it becomes really, you know, it becomes pe part of people's lives. And that, yeah. that place you create is important because it affects people's lives and their memories. And you want it to be a happy place, a good place. Yeah. That's, that's starting that's to I talk about my, uh, you can tell I like your resi again, but um, that, that's how I feel. <laughs> But um, you, you need to create, think about that in a kind of quiet spiritual level. Well, um, I agree with you uh, entirely because I think for kind of like a living, it's not only what you see from the facade, but also what you experience in the space, like in the interior. So from the outside to the inside, I think that's very important to connect especially when you have a public area, such as what you did for the park yeah. and everything. And when you come into your own unit, I think that's where the magic also can happen. You know, it can yeah. be, uh, it can have a character which uh, can have like a pastel palette, or it can have like a daring colors, like what uh, we did because we wanted to make it unique. Um, because I think the interior uh, as well, it depends on the individuals, but why the architecture, it just unites everything, like the space and the, the function, but the interior, it gives the soul to the interior, to the space. That's what, that's, I think, that's why it's very important to have like a concept, like a good, vivid concept, and you yeah. execute well. Yeah. We try and think about a journey often, think about how you arrive at a building, you know, yeah. from a street. In this case, we have to think about arriving from the park as well, yeah. and how that is, you know, as an owner or a guest, and how you get to a lift, you know, how, so it's logical and easy. And here we've got, we haven't got private lifts, we've got communal lift cores, which mm -hmm. is supports community in mind so you meet your neighbor yeah. uh, but what we've made sure is we haven't got too many apartments off one core because that's when it breaks down i think when you've got community which isn't too big off a lift core it's good but if you start getting to these excessively long corridors it starts to become an anti-community thing and yeah. starts breaking down and so we've really thought about that routine from arrival through the building to your apartment in and when you get into your apartment that, that kind of idea of what do I see uh, unblock views I've arrived I've got the view to the park the garden the city where I have privacy there and because yeah. actually privacy is you need, you, you don't, you need, the community is good but you need to think about privacy yeah. as well yeah. and that's what we've done so we have minimized any overlooking of this scheme there's a, some, there's a, there's a lot of units but, but there's a bit of overlooking, but most units are unblocked. Most apartments are totally are, are overlooked, and that's been a key, really, of how we've laid out the major buildings. Yeah. Um, and um, but we did have a bit of added space, you know, but more land than we usually get from a project like this. So it was, it was easier than usual. But I think with the large openings that you create. Uh, it gives effect also to the interior and that really uh, matters a lot. Uh, well, that, that, that's another good client thing. I'll tell you that we, we love big openings. You know, we, um, you know, there's an issue of overheating. We've got to be careful. So we've oriented everything away okay. from the, um, you know, the west, west sun. But um, people like big views, but a lot of clients squash bedroom windows down and say it's too expensive. Here we've got really nice big openings on most of the rooms, so you've got really good. View. So if you've got, so they put having a view and then blocking it down. So here we've we've protected the views out always. Yeah, I think 
it's a very privilege, I think, to you know have two parks and big opening windows, you know, and then good ventilations and natural light and everything. And yeah. I'm very very happy that you said this is one of the your one project that you're proud of. Yeah, and uh, I mean, I, I, I'm, I can't wait to get to see it built. I'm looking <laughs> forward to I'm really, I can't wait to get it to come down there. So, so on my bucket, so after the show gallery, it, it is actually coming down to see it on site. And I like seeing it on site. And I like to see, I remember when I bought an apartment in Singapore, I went round to see it on site every few months. I've uh, see it going up, so uh, I'm waiting to get in, and I, I can feel that every time I'm going to be in Jakarta, I'm going to have a see see how it's going on on site. Come round and see you, and as long as you can take me out for lunch, that's the rule. Sure, <laughs> sure, 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 Ian. Let me know. Let me know. Yeah, yeah you know my favourite Indonesian restaurants in Alam Sutra. Sure, yeah. but from Ibutri, so. How about your impressions? Will you move to LFB, Ibutri? Uh, Sorry? I, I, I would. But I'm, not allowed, I'm not allowed to buy. Oh. But if we could sort of ask, because I'm a foreign, I'm an English. Will you buy? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm, oh, an English, wow. I'm an English well. man. <laughs> At the moment, it's pandemic. Wow. <laughs> Oh, for uh, for Ian, I think for LMB, uh, in certain type of units, uh, there's uh, for Indonesian regulations for apartment. Actually, foreigner can buy right, right. now. Well, uh, well let's I let's just, have a let's have a chat. Yeah, I just asked let's that also chat. because I have friends who are uh, foreigners who oh when they saw the interior, they are kind of like okay when can I move in? I'm like well it's not done yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, so, yeah, and, so yeah, and Michael, I, if you can sort it out, I'd love to buy. Really, I'd love to buy that. I'll, I'll I'll let Ibu Christine know to uh, to contact. Me. I don't, as long as it's uh, legal, and I'm not breaking any <laughs> laws. But, um, I don't want to end up in Jakarta Jakarta legal system somewhere. Or, or Ian Ian under my name. <laughs> 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 See, I'm, I'm, I'm falling down already with legality. Okay, I was just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, if, you, if you can uh, maybe have a think about it, Michael, because I'd love to be able to. Yeah, because yeah. I, guess, I guess we have to, I have to be relatively quick as well, because I bet these units are going to go. Yeah. I bet, I bet they are. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah. So, Ibutri, Ian is moving into LOB soon. Are uh, you going to I, talk to I Ian? I consider it very, you know, very thoroughly, you know, after the pandemic. <laughs> Her answer, Michael, isn't good as mine. I said yes. <laughs> no pan pandemic, still going to... To be honest, Ashley, uh, think serious, yeah. seriously, LOB is a very good apartment if you think about it. Shall, shall we be neighbours, uh, Ian? Yes, yes, no, maybe, maybe not the same block. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, 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 there's neighbors being a bit too close. You know, I think oh, you know, there's a bit of space. Well, you know, you, we'll, you we can like, meet by the pool once a week. Okay. Are, uh, you afraid, can, are you afraid of the interior that you might see? Like, you know, you are like this pastel palette, and I'm like a woo palette. You know, like. <laughs> I'm not afraid, I promise you. Oh, you know. I, I, I'm sure we would be perfect neighbours in LMV. <laughs> yeah, I'm please. sure we would be perfect neighbours. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to be serious again. Pandemic, it's really <laughs> serious. COVID, COVID yes, is really why. serious. But LMV is what people want. I forgot yeah. to say, you know, we, we, they want open space. They yeah. want ventilation. They want self-sufficient community. So I can I don't have to get on the, the bus. I can go shopping. I've got my coffee shop there. I've got added space so I can work at home. I've got my balcony. I didn't say you know. I think nearly every apartment has a balcony here. So there's. I actually think it's you know joking. So after the pandemic, we don't know when that's going to finish. It might go on for months. It might go on for years. You know, you, you, you need to sign up tree before you need to buy oh, okay so, I, I, so you, I, I, I'll, I'll talk personally to book christine <laughs> that's better, that's better. <laughs> so, well, so I, will, I have to close this discussion well i'm this sorry uh, yeah we'll, we'll come back we'll come back 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll oh, continue. Oh, you it's your unit, Ian. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 you find out what you can for them. Okay. But I'm, I'm shown it. I assume, joking apart, I'll be driving. Singapore will let me out in a few months, and uh, hopefully Jakarta will, Indonesia will let me in, and I'll come and see you, and we'll, okay. we'll go and have a look at the show. Okay. So let me close this webinar then. So thank you guys for all the viewers that actually join us today for this uh, Good Living by Design. So as summaries from Ibu Tri and Ian, Ian is moving in to LOV soon and Ibu Tri is, you know. That's a decision made today. Okay. Yeah, and then Ibu Tri is, is like opening, um, opening potential, you know, like who wants to, you know, for me to design their units. Jadi begitu ya guys. So I will just close in Bahasa. So uh, Ian and Ibu Tri is moving into LOV kan. Jadi kalau kalian masih mau untuk moving into the best project uh, from Broadway Malian, the one from Ian Simpsons and the one with heart and character from Ibu Tri. So I think you guys have to come to LOV and call us in the 3110 or just click our website or our Instagram and find out more information about LOV. So thank you guys for all joining us today. Thank you, Ian, and thank you, Ibu Tri. Thank you, thank you Michael. Can't wait to catch up. Good to see you. All right. Okay. You. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night and have a safe and healthy journey ahead. Thank okay. you. Bye-bye.